What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Beastly Gamer channel. I'm so happy you guys are here to join me. Today I want to talk to you about the PlayStation 4 Neo. Yeah, every other video on YouTube uh, and every article online has the words PlayStation 4 Neo in them. Everybody's excited about this thing. Everybody's wondering what it's going to be, how it's going to compete with the behemoth of the Xbox Scorpio. Uh, but today I want to talk to you guys about the price. Now, it's already on the record that I've stated I think the PlayStation 4 Neo will be no greater than $449, but I think it's going to be $400. I think Sony has found a way to get this 4 teraflop monster in this chassis, this 10-pound box, uh, and, and sell it for $400. I think that the technology is there. I think that they found a way through whoever they're getting their chips from to get the price down to $400. And they might even eat a little bit of profit, you know, when they sell them. But I think that Sony has a, a really, a, you know, well-rounded plan to get this PlayStation 4K out to the consumer. The reason I think that they will definitely not be, uh, you know, raising the price more than $400 is because of the major, major catastrophe the PlayStation 3 was when it was initially released at $600 fucking dollars. <laughs> Sony was insane to do that, and uh, they felt the pain of that when they released that console. Nobody was able to buy it. It was a luxury item, and it took them a long time, you know, to bring the price down to parity with competition, and that's when they actually saw sales. So I don't think that this PlayStation 4K is going to be any more than $400. If it is $400, I'm going to heavily debate grabbing one. I'm probably going to get one uh, for my PlayStation uh, VR, but... There is a lot of speculation, but there are people in the know who know a lot more than the Beastly Gamer, you know, who are in these kind of covens of information when it comes to technology and PlayStation news, who have also speculated that the price is going to be $399. And so it makes me feel really good to know that, you know, I'm at least kind of on the same page with some of these people who are in the know, because great minds think alike. But I'll drop a link in the description. Sony's upcoming console will be well within the reach of potential buyers. Speculation is growing as we move towards September 7th, the day when Sony Corporation is expected to unveil the PlayStation 4 Neo and the PS4 Slim at the uh, scheduled PlayStation meeting event. Sony has not shared any details about the Neo and has not confirmed the existence of the said Slim version. However, all related questions are expected to be answered very soon. Of the two, Neo has received the most excitement so far. The console is a high-end version of the PlayStation 4 with more powerful hardware under the hood. Being the one to offer a better gaming experience, Neo is going to cost more. According to Wall Street Journal Takashi Mochizuki, Jeffries Alto Goyo predicts that the Neo will be priced at $399. This is the same price at which Sony launched the original PlayStation 4 back in 2013, and the price that the Beastly Gamer also predicted. The slim version, on the other hand, is reportedly going to be priced at $299. The new price cut will enable Slim to act as an entry-level PlayStation 4, while Neo will offer better visuals and native 4K support for $100 more. Slim's new price point will bring it in line with Microsoft's Xbox One S, which debuted this year for $299. As the Black Friday and holiday period is approaching, the two consoles will battle it out with cheaper price cuts, which will certainly attract more players, particularly since multiple big games are scheduled to launch in the last quarter of this year. The release date of Neo is something also under speculation. Sony's confirmed plans to launch a slim console this year makes us logically predict that Neo will launch in the first quarter of 2017. Until then, PlayStation VR and PlayStation 4 Slim are going to be two big product launches for Sony in 2016. So Jeffrey's analysts have, you know, speculated that this thing is going to be 400 ducats, and I think it's going to be $400 too. I think anything more than $400 is really going to make people, you know, kind of cringe, and, and you don't want something like this to be a super, you know, super big financial decision. If you're paying half of your rent to buy a console... That's something that people really got to have a discussion about. Now, if it's like $500, that's going to be a decision that's going to have to be made in every household. You know, if you've got priorities now, if you go to work every day and you don't have anybody, you know, you got to take care of and all your stuff is up to date and you don't have debt. Yeah, go ahead and buy you a five or six hundred dollar PlayStation. Uh, but if you've got, you know, priorities and you got savings and you got, you know, bills to pay, you got a family to support five or six hundred bucks. is That's a real, you know, that's a big deal. You're going to have to have a discussion about that. It's not like, you know, the Beastly Gamer can just go drop $1,000 on a console and, and, you know, walk away like it's nothing. If it's five or 600 bucks, you better believe I'm going to have to, you know, do a lot of maneuvering and, and talking to my wife because, you know, that's the only woman that can slap me down and say, no, you ain't getting it or you get no more of this. And guess what? If she says that, 
Fuck the PlayStation. I gotta get that thing. But you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. The PlayStation 4K, PlayStation Neo, Nebuchadnezzar, Morpheus, all these Matrix uh, names. What do you guys think this thing is going to cost? I'm predicting $400, just like this analyst. I don't think Sony's crazy enough to repeat the PlayStation 3, but they could go as high as $449 if they really want to piss off gamers. Because I think, you know, people can afford $400. They're going to, you know, just ask mom and dad for an extra 50 so they can grab it. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Be sure to give a thumbs up. Show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And tell all your friends about the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.